Ta-da! Hello gamers, Matthew here from Laidback Lund, Sweden. Today for this episode of A Few Simple Steps, we are going to show you how to make some cheap but pretty good looking movement trays for your miniatures. To begin, I would just like to show you the finished product. This is what we are making today. Uh, simple movement trays, easy to make, uh, quite attractive, super cheap, super fast, simple. Um, and they work quite well. As I mentioned, you can have all sorts of different sizes. I've made all sorts of sizes from 10 units to uh, 10 models to 50 models. Um, let me show you a couple examples here. Um, I've got uh, this movement tray I've been using for my Inner Circle Knights, which is 5x2. Uh, works really well. Um, it's easy to move them around, to slide them around. It works incredibly uh, slick. And today what I'd like to do is actually uh, make a movement tray for um, my Skaven clan rats. I have uh, two units of 20 clan rats that I just got in. Um, and so I will be making uh, this movement tray for my clan rats. So let's show you the supplies you need and get started. The supplies you're going to need are actually really incredibly simple. First of all, you, you're going to need this um, plastic cardstock, which um, is Pretty thin stuff, you can get this at any hobby shop. It's got a glossy side on one side and a matte side on the other. Um, I like to use the non-glossy side, the matte side facing upwards because it reflects less um, light, but uh, you can pick up these for extremely cheap at your hobby stores. Um, now for the outside of your movement trays, we are going to use this uh, sort of uh, styrofoam, thick styrofoam, a little bit thicker, um, cardstock um, and we will be cutting this into small little strips um, so that's what you're going to need uh, for the outsides of your movement trays um, in order to do the cutting of course we're going to need an exacto knife and I would recommend that you have a metal ruler so you do not cut into the ruler itself um, this will be very helpful when we are trying to cut a nice straight line in our cardboard and then last but not least to attach the edges of the movement trays all we're going to use is a simple glue gun um, doesn't require much glue to do this um, and that's all you need so let's get started with the steps a very important first step now is simply to plan out the dimensions we want to have for our movement tray as I said now I want this to be for a unit of 20 clan rats and the way I plan this is to have five here in each uh, rank and then to have four ranks deep so what we want to do is have five clan rats here and four in this direction um, so five in the front um, times 20 millimeters for each of the bases will give us a total of 100 now what I'd like to do is add five millimeters for each of these side uh, railings here um, for a total of uh, 110 and now just for a little extra wiggle room, I like to add three more millimeters. You can move them around a little bit. So that'll give us 113 millimeters here. Now if we go here at four deep, um, four times 20 millimeters uh, will give us a total of 80. Um, plus there is one guide rail here. So that will give us 85 and our three extra millimeters for the wiggle room gives us a total of 88 millimeters. So there are the dimensions we're going to use, 113 millimeters by 88 millimeters. It may be a little difficult to see, but I've marked out now our dimensions here, our 88 by 113. So what we can do now is begin by using our metal ruler, our metal straight edge to simply um, cut along the line that we've made here for 113, excuse me, for 88. And holding down your ruler with some force, um, start by just making some small incisions, some cuts right, right along the ruler. Um, you don't have to push too hard in the beginning. Um, that should be enough to just get you a nice groove. So cut that um, and just keep doing that until you cut your way through. And I will just, now that I made the groove, I'll just Finish it off by putting a little more force on here 
and cutting through the rest of the plastic. And we can do the same thing here um, on the other side. Start with some nice, gentle cuts. And there you go. We have our 113 by 88 millimeters. In the next step now, we're going to take our styrofoam uh, thick car that we'll be using as our rail. And what you want to do is just take any sort of straight edge, it doesn't matter really what it is. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to try to measure out here on the top five millimeters. So right about there. And we can hold that position and measure a little further down, five millimeters to make sure everything is um, square. And then what we're gonna do is just take your X-Acto knife again and um, follow that straight edge, whatever you have here. In this case, I have a piece of wood. Uh, just follow that straight edge right down on that styrofoam. This won't take too many, too many cuts and it will come off. Voila, and just like that, we have now got five millimeter styrofoam railings. This will be now glued onto the base. With your glue gun warmed up now, we're ready for the last step. All we're gonna do is uh, put a little bit of glue here on the front edge, making sure that the glossy side is down, um, and then we will just set our piece of styrofoam or edge on top of it and wait for it to dry. And when you pull it up here now, you can see that there will inevitably be a little bit of glue that sticks out over the edge. Um, you can just simply pull that away, um, pick that away uh, from the edges, and make it flush, um, clean it up so that there's no glue sticking out. Now you notice that I left a little bit here on the edges and I did that intentionally, so before we uh, do the last two sides, we can just use our X-Acto knife and trim this up a little bit. So just put your knife on the very edge and give a little cut um, and do the same thing over here on the other side. A little cut straight down is good enough. Um, and there we go, we have cleaned that up now and we are ready to put on our other two edges.
And now we can do the final cleaning up and pick off the uh, remaining glue on the edges. Um, clean it up, uh, make it look straight and nice and flush. And there you have it, a simple and easy and cheap, um, pretty good looking, uh, in my opinion, movement tray for 20 Skaven Clan Rats. And all that remains is for us simply to fill it up. A perfect fit. And as you can see, the three millimeters really helped us out. It gave us a little bit of wiggle room here, um, a space between each. And I really do like to have a few extra millimeters in the back. Uh, but there you go, a unit of 20 clan rats on a brand new movement tray. Well, there you go, a few simple steps for making good movement trays for your miniatures. Thank you for joining us here once again today at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.